Hi guys, in this video we set up a shiny app to analyze stock. This is a short series on this topic, so we start now and we will increase, we will improve this uh, app in the next videos. So let's see how it works. Here we select a, a ticker, let's go for example Facebook, we can select a date here. Let's go back here. And this uh, date breaks. Let's leave now one day. Let's compute. And here, this is the, the output. And this can see here the date here is very messy. So, what we can do, we can control here and let's go for one week. And as you can see, now we have a date for one week only. What else we can do, for example, here, we can select here the data. We can see here the output, open, high, low, close, volume, and adjusting so on. Uh, the only thing that uh, I don't like here is the column date. I could not fix this one, but I just search a bit and it seems that the problem is when uh, with the render table function with the, the table itself because as you can see here 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 also here and this one all these dates are uh, correct at the moment let's leave it like this and see if i can fix it in the next videos so this is what we are going uh, to do so what do we have here as you can see we have a sidebar here where we have a ticker here where we can select the uh, the ticker of the firms that we want to analyze a date a only a starting date so i assume that we want the, the data up to the end and then here date breaks is just to correct here i leave the user to correct to choose the the date break as you can see if we can go here we just put one month okay and then here we have the name of the ticker Facebook from the date here that we selected and this here is the last uh, the close prices here in February uh, February 4 so let's see now the structure these are the packages used then we have the this is old we define the user interface so as you see we have a title pane here stock analysis then we have a set bar layout this is the layout that we used in the previous videos where we have a text input so ticker ticker where we have to write the ticker that we want ticker here is the id then we have date input, so date is the ID, starting date is the label, and the value, we set this default value at the beginning for this date here. Then we have select input, uh, date breaks is the ID, and here we can select one day, one week, one month, or one year. This is just to control for the X axis. Then we have an action button. Mm. Button is the ID, compute, <coughs> sorry is the label and this is the class in main panel we return the plot the candle plot brush plot underscore brush you have already seen the previous video it's just to select the area to see the data and then we return here the data so these are the inputs so let's see now the output in the server function So here we have uh, an event reactive. So again, we are waiting that the user push the button. Okay, so this is the button ID. Require input. So we are making sure that this ticker and date input exist. And then we retrieve the data with the get symbols from the quantum mode function from uh, Yahoo. This is uh, the input ticker so 
based on what we write here from the input date based on the date that we choose at a sign equal false this is because we cap this name here stock then we convert as a data frame here column names i'm using this command here to just rename all the column names as follow then row names to column so we are make this uh, date column and we set as a, a, a date okay as class date then we generate this green red based on any files even if open less close uh, open price less close price greater than zero we have red otherwise we have green okay now we proceed with the plot for this cp uh, and the stick plot again event reactive we are waiting for the button to be pushed these are the required input for this uh, candlestick plot with ggplot uh, i took the code from uh, our bloggers you find the link in the description i just modified it because here i used a different function to download the data and i want the, the plot with a different layout but the main code is from them okay so I refer to their post for the details okay just for example here in labs i added this part here i want a title that should be the input and the, the ticker here from uh, from the date uh, one okay two to the date of the last date so the number of a stock and again here we already said this last time we use this stock we treat as a function because this is from event uh, reactive okay so here we have a subtitle we end this subtitle i want a close price so here i'm rounding the close based on the on the number of rows so to, to get the close prices i'm rounding the decimals this is just to start a new line and then i want a close date okay this is just to control for the legend uh, to put the dollar mark on the y-axis and here the date breaks input date breaks to control for the x-axis okay but we already seen this code for ggplot and here i return the under plot this again why under plot here because it's the id of this plot output this is just a parameter to render the plot here render table brush points stock input plot underscore brush we have already seen is when we select the area on the graph okay and finally here shiny up to run uh, to run the app okay let's run it again let's go for amazon let's see amazon 2012 let's put one year let's compute And that's it we can see here tempo let the data let's change with tesla and go for month this is no? better like this yeah we can see here at the beginning it was the price you can see now 
uh, the prices increased okay guys so that's it for today if you enjoyed this video see you in the next one